Hi, this is Brian Carney. We're here at Luminosity Beach Festival. It's my, my first time here. I'm massively impressed by how good it is. As you can, well, if you could see what I could see, you could see there's a lot of happy people here. The weather is really, really good. The tracks are really, really banging. So it's, it's looking like it's going to be a really good weekend, and I can't wait to play later on. So, Brian, we did an interview not so long ago, actually, uh, at uh, Luminosity Trans Gathering. How you been since? Uh, I've been, been really, really good. I've actually gone through probably the most productive part of my production career so far. I've um, I've really got my head down and sort of put my effort and all my concentration into my tracks. And as a result, uh, personally, I feel like I'm making the best music I've ever played. Sorry, <laughs> this after flying off. Sorry. Yeah, just good to yeah that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so um, I've been in the studio. I've been really, really busy. I've... Uh, I've remixed for Armin Van Buren, a track which re originally started off as just like a bootleg and I sent the track to, to his email address and he sent me back the parts to do an official mix and he played it on a state of trance the other night and um, I, t as I think he said that's going to be released so that's really really good for myself and um, I've other stuff coming up, I've just re recently signed a track to Perfecto um, I'm going to be doing more stuff with them signed to Subculture, one of my new tracks which I'm going to play tonight for the first time and uh, I've loads and loads of other stuff on the way as well so it's to be honest the last time I was with you I was sort of going through like a period of sort of a crisis of confidence like just I couldn't like actually just make anything that resembled sort of my old stuff and stuff so I've, uh, I'm happier now with myself that I've got my head down and worked really hard in the studio and I think people will really like the new stuff. I hope they do anyway, so I'm excited to see how it does go when it gets released, hopefully. Yeah, you know, I know you told me uh, you had some studio problems last time. You rebuilt your studio or something and you didn't really get it yeah. sounding as you wanted to. Is it better now? What happened was I, I actually just moved the position of my desk in my room into the center of the room. And when I did that, it sort of just messed with the acoustics that I was used to. So the acoustics that I was using then when it was in the middle it didn't suit the music that I was making. So the best thing I possibly did, I just moved it straight back. Because as you know, if some things aren't broke, you just you don't change them, you just leave them. So I moved it back and as a result, I've, I'm making some really, really good stuff now, in my own opinion. So I'm excited to hear how, how the people receive them when these start get released this summer. How does it feel when you get support from Armin? I know he played um, you and Jamie Walker's new track on A State of Trance and you were asked to remix them. How does can that ever change, Mr. Brian Carney, in any way? Um, it's 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 taken a while, sort of, for Armin to sort of catch on to my stuff because I think maybe the stuff that I was making was a little bit, maybe a little bit too techy, or maybe just doesn't doesn't fit in with the sound that Aesop plays. But I don't necessarily make music just to get played by Armin and stuff. I like making music that's adaptable and it appeals to different sort of people. But I think Armin is the only sort of A-list trans DJ now who'll probably sort of play that I don't like the as we know it real trans as how I know it from growing up and has how people remember it and stuff the the higher end of the BPM scale and stuff like that so it's it's, it's just great now that he's, he's starting to play more on my stuff and he, he asked for suggestions on Twitter a couple of weeks ago about ASOT and stuff like that and I suggested maybe just to try a show with just high energy music and he said he, he'd, he'd think about it, he'd tweet me back and retweeted it so maybe he's sort of catching on to the, the idea that people want to hear the faster stuff and, and there still is there's always going to be a place for the, the faster music so I actually I'm not trying to big myself up here but I predicted this stuff will happen I, I did some interviews last year and I said that it's, we're all, it's always part of a cycle what goes around comes around and the music will always come back around to, to where it began so Fingers crossed, Armin will like the, the new music. I have some great tracks, so if you're looking, Armin, I'm going to send you some new stuff on Monday, so I hope you like it. <laughs> Good. Uh, could you ever imagine yourself producing for for Armin? I mean, like, focusing on, the, I want this to be played no. by all the big DJs. No, I, I, I never focus that way. My, my sole purpose with my music is dance floor orientated. I'm, it's all about the reaction of the crowd, hands in the air, dancing as, as the beats are moving, as your bass lines moving and stuff like that. So I don't make music for anyone else, I don't make it for anyone else in particular. The music that I make is a, what's the word, it's an expression of the person that I am and the energy that I have and stuff like that. So I never make anything specifically for, for Armin or stuff like that, you know. You did, uh, you did a special track for Luminosity. Yes. What can you tell me about it? Um, I've actually made two. Um, it's, a, it's a remix of a track from somebody who sort of left trance. 
Uh, I don't really want to say anymore because I don't. Well, it's not going to make any difference now. But I've done a remix of a, a Tiesto track from the last year, and it's a track I actually heard when I was in the gym. And like, there's just a certain part of the track that I really, really liked, and I thought I could turn it into something. So it's a track that I'm going to start with tonight. Um, I've just basically put my own twist on it. It's it's sort of reminiscent of some maybe some old sort of Paul Van Dyke stuff from 2002. I've taken the riff from the track and, and put my beats and my own bass lines and stuff behind it. But I, I think it will get a really, really good reaction. Unfortunately, I missed out on doing a remix for John O'Callaghan as part of his Unfold remix album. So I, I, I actually just asked him the other day, did he have any acapellas or... Because I wanted to make something else for this weekend. And I got the Mess of a Machine pack, which is one of the best vocal tracks off his album. And he sent me over the parts and I made my own um, remix and he really liked my remix. So basically what John has done is he's remixed my remix. So <laughs> he's taken all my parts and he's added his own twist onto it. So it's it's not a collab, it's almost a it's a remix of a remix. It doesn't really happen that often but we, he, we've done it for this event, so I'm, I'm, I really do hope people like it. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to find my feet more and more in the studio, man. It's this sort of sound that I have now, and that I have, so I consider nailed. It's the sound that I've been searching for for a long time, and I'm really, really excited about the music that's happening. And you'll see a showcase of it tonight, the new sort of stuff that I'm, I'm playing now. I've sort of left behind the harder, techy stuff. Not, not leaving it completely behind, but I'm focusing more on the trance aspect because it's the music that's really pushing my buttons at the moment. So I'm, I'm fingers crossed it pushes everyone else later on. I can see that you look happy. Yeah. I'm but uh, <laughs> if you could switch with any DJ in the world for a week, who would you switch with and not John O'Callaghan? Damn. I don't know, man. It's, it's a tough question to ask. I know everyone always sees this lifestyle as being so glamorous and and stuff like that but to be honest it's I'm not trying to sound ungrateful or stuff like that but it's not as glamorous as as people think I, I can, like Armin recently like he only had a baby a daughter last year and he's always touring he's staying in hotels he's on planes he's away from his family and stuff like that so it's, it's very very hard for people with families and like obviously like when you're playing and stuff like that the buzz you get out of playing and and stuff like that it's it's incredible but if, if it was to switch with any DJ I'd probably switch with someone like maybe Mario Picotto 10 years ago when I was only starting clubbing and when things were a lot lot different to how they are now man it was just all the music he was playing was so new and so fresh and it was just so so amazing so if I could switch it would be with Mario Picotto or one of the Italian G DJs who started that new sound maybe at the turn of the millennium that's that's the one I'd pick anyway yeah be cool could you ever think about going back to your work as an elect electrician? <laughs> no, man, not, not a hope, not a hope. Because every single day I spent working as, in, as an electrician, I just could not wait to get home and work on music or something to do with music or to download the latest tracks or something like that. Like it's, I don't know, man, the normal working world has never been for me. Even when I was in school and you're talking to your guidance counselor and stuff like that, I never knew what I wanted to do, man. Like, so I think when I was 17, and sort of when I was nearly finished in school, I knew that this is what I wanted to do, so I just put myself towards that and I'll make sure I never have to work with any cables or electricity. <laughs> the only cables I'll ever be working with now is to make sure the USB link works for the CDJs. Yeah. That'll be it. <laughs> have you ever been afraid? Afraid? Yeah, afraid while traveling or DJing. Have you, have you ever been afraid on tour? Mm, not, not, that, not that I've ever been afraid of anything particular. I do with this job and I know from a speaking from like to other DJs and stuff like that uh, it can cause quite a lot of anxiety with it because it's such a, an unpredictable scene and what, what happened to me a couple of years ago that sort of set me back a little bit when I sort of left my normal job and went into the DJing world I sort of spent a little bit too much time developing myself as the artist and the producer and the DJ and I sort of lost touch with who I was as a normal person if that sort of makes sense like I was spending too much time on Facebook and listening to my own tunes and over analyzing things and stuff like that but now I'm I'm a, I'm a bit more level-headed like I still you still get anxious and stuff like that but I, like I'm just a normal person the same as everyone else man everyone gets afraid and everyone gets anxious and when you're 
flying on planes for 14 hours, you do get lonely. And when I'm away, I miss my girlfriend and I miss my friends and I miss the the normality of life because like sometimes you lose the normality of life when you're involved within the madness of dance music so I think I have, I have a far better balance in my life now with regards to my career and also just as me as a person but yeah of course there's there's always going to be times when you're a little bit afraid or anxious but I think that's that's part of life and part of your development as a human and I'm maturing a little bit as well you know. Um, last time we did the interview, I received a question from your girlfriend, but I actually forgot to ask you. Uh, she asked me after the interview what you replied, but I, I forgot. So I'm gonna ask you right now, okay? So this is from your girlfriend. Yeah. Um, who do you love the most, Manchester United or your girlfriend? It's gonna have to be my girlfriend. <laughs> I can't really say anything else, and it is the truth to be honest. So that's all I can really say. <laughs> Perfect. Now you have the answer.